here's our finished product our corrugated polycarbonate aquarium tank lid as you can see it holds up just by itself fairly well here on the top of the tank it doesn't bow a whole lot and uh, it's able to support its own weight fairly easily there is an optional component which I've installed on the sides here and this is just a horizontal plastic closure which uh, conforms to the dimensions here of the side of the polycarbonate sheet and what that's going to do is just uh, give me a little bit of an air barrier here on the sides so that the uh, the water vapor doesn't escape uh, so easily out the sides there uh, as you see here we have a lid for this aquarium um, a door here to allow us to feed the tank and uh, even get our hands inside that tank if we need to um, it's just one piece of polycarbonate stuck on top of another piece of polycarbonate with a little bit um, of a uh, overlap on the sides and uh, that can easily slide uh, to the side or obviously you can just pick it up but uh, that works out really well and then I've got a cutout out back here for all of my equipment that's entering the tank obviously I could have cut this in any place uh, back behind the aquarium and uh, if I had something smaller um, I could have cut a smaller hole there but uh, that's the size hole I decided to cut there uh, again these side supports these horizontal supports are not needed to keep the polycarbonate sheet uh, on top of that tank if you just cut it to the right dimensions it will sit on top all by itself and at about ten dollars uh, this is a pretty competitively priced uh, DIY cover for your aquarium when compared to a similar sized piece of glass uh, or acrylic cut to, uh, to, to this size. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.